Hello and welcome gorgeous Aries. Let's take a look at your cards for the week. I hope everyone is doing well. Guidance for Aries. Be sure to connect in with your own heart and just take what resonates and leave what doesn't resonate. So Aries, your first card is about assessing your relationship. Now this may be a relationship that is romantic in nature. It might be a work colleague, it might be a family member. So um, see how this card and message resonates for you and what relationship this is for you. But it looks like you are being asked to assess and to reflect on a particular relationship. Perhaps with the next card here, it's, uh, there might be some conflict that can happen or is happening. Identify one dynamic or component of a close relationship that's vital to your emotional and physical health. This is especially important if you're healing and a particular relationship is causing you stress. If your relationship is a healthy union, then celebrate. And your goal is to integrate your relationship into the quality of your life. So there may be something going on here in a relationship and be mindful of the conflict. Examine your personal interactions is the next card. All of these cards here are linked into this relationship, this connection by the looks of it. Name one person to whom you have a power conflict and write an extensive description of the nature of that struggle without assigning blame. Only describe your own issues. Your goal is to become mindful that remaining in a conflict is a choice. Examine unfinished business is the next card here. So examine your personal interactions in this relationship. Be mindful of conflict, frustration. There might be some unfinished business as well that is connected to a relationship and why you are feeling the way you're feeling. Determine whether you're someone who's always giving to others, but who feels unnoticed or unappreciated. If this applies to you, it may be because you have a private agenda to seek love that's built into your motivation to be of service. And your goal is to examine whether your interactions with others leave you empowered or disempowered. So there's a there's a re there's a reflection on a relationship which is really important. Um, does this relationship or inter interaction leave you empowered or disempowered? And it says here on this card, identify one piece of unfinished business. This could relate to a person or a task. And then do one thing to bring it to closure. If you find that you're unable to do so, you've identified a major power leak and a serious block to your healing and your goal to understand that all experiences either make you bitter or better. Okay, so there's unfinished business examining this. And if there is something you can do to find closure or to do one thing, one task, one thing, then that's what you are being asked to do this week. Let's see what this deck reveals for you. You have a lot more strength than you realize. Actually, I'm seeing Aries that you are in a position of power. You are in a dominant position. You're in the position of attack. You're the, you're the one who holds the cards here in a situation. The other person involved here or the situation might not recognize this, but you know in yourself this is true and it looks like it is in fact true. You might need to walk away. Maybe it's walking away from something major like a job, a relationship, um, but it might be something else. So place this energy in your life. You're walking away. You're moving away from something that no longer serves you and you're moving toward value. A door to value is opening up for you. So this means there's more abundance here. Yes, financially, materially, this might be linked into your work, career or business. But the door to value might also be emotional, might be how you feel about yourself and it might be linked into a relationship. It's definitely connected to you having strength right now and fortitude and determination and bravery. And the first chakra, Archangel Michael, this is a link 
to your fears, uncertainties, the unknown. So you might be questioning someone, something is unknown, something's hidden and something is going to come to light. This is also a call to move into courage away from fear. So it's about recognizing what you are indeed afraid of and moving away from that consciously, taking steps away from that consciously. There is hope in a situation. The rain clouds are now moving to the side. Look with new eyes and create the change that awaits you. You can take some steps this week to make positive changes in your life. King of the unicorns, you are blessed with majesty, vision and power. So an empowerment is coming back to you, which is wonderful. You're feeling like you have control. You're feeling like you have a certain strength in a situation. You are on top of the mountain here. You've climbed the mountain. There's a challenge that is being overcome. There's also a new vision that you may have in a particular circumstance that you might be sharing with someone. Having fun and laughing. Laughter attracts unicorns. So this is joy. Blessed things in your life. Try and have some fun. Try and let your hair down. Try and um, make an effort this week to laugh about things rather than being um, fixed in you know seriousness. Wisdom. Act with wisdom and people will respect you. So I'm seeing this for you areas is actually um, a call to take away some emotion from a situation, even though someone may have wronged you, um, someone has disrespected you, there's, um, there's an energy that's supporting you taking away that emotional overwhelm, those emotional feelings and being more objective about things. This is wisdom. This is how you're going to gain respect. Okay, let's see what this deck reveals. Uncover your softer self. Beauty lies beneath. So you're putting up a front. There's a hardness to your exterior. What people are coming into contact with seems to be quite harsh, but there's a softness underneath that you may be protecting that is the real you and so there may be a circumstance this week where you'll get the opportunity to put that um, into play put that um, softer side into action in your life transform hereditary pain the past does not bind you this is a link to your past something that's holding you back something that is um, gripping you and it's about recognizing what this is and fully and consciously choosing to release it, this pain. You can tr transform a situation by doing this, by looking at the past and knowing that it does not bind you and releasing it. Deepen your concentration, focus and grow into what could be. You need to focus on something this week. You need to really focus on it and you're going to achieve what you set your mind to. Let go of comparison. Embrace the unique you. So we've got um, a call to being uniquely you. And I feel this ties into the energy here of the softer side of self. So you might be expressing that more to someone, a loved one or someone in your life or a situation will be there and you'll be bringing this out. Um, let go of any comparison that you have to someone that's not going to serve you um, and be confident in your in yourself and in your decisions and in your what's going on with you right now that is uniquely you. The three of thought, this means there is healing that's needed. You have been wronged or there's something going on where you have needed comfort. Loving angels surround you to heal and comfort you. The sadness you feel will fade away in time and then you'll be able to see clearly how important this situation has been for your spiritual growth. Take the time you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace the future with joy. The guardian of thought 
You may be called upon to be a spokesperson for a cause close to your heart. So you're going to be called upon to speak, to be, to, I feel there's actually important communication with someone. Um, and if you are expressing what's on your heart, this is going to be the best outcome to the conversation or to the situation. Your angels will give you the perfect words and you'll do brilliantly. You may be asked to be a mentor or find one yourself. And this situation involves someone who's professional with a positive attitude and fresh ideas. So it could be dealing with someone um, professionally. And this person who could be you may be emotionally unavailable. Well, you are being called to be a little bit more emotionally unavailable in some respect. Intuition and insight. So trust your intuition and your feelings, your intuitive abilities are very accurate right now. So you can trust your guidance to lead you in the right direction. Follow your own insights over the advice of others. So this is about yeah, being very confident in yourself and don't allow fear or worry to guide your way. It may be best to keep your secrets to yourself for now. If you know something, just keep it to yourself. You might know intuitively not to share it with someone. You're blessed with many wonderful things to do. It would be great if you could take the time to make a plan first, but you probably don't have time. So something is speeding up. There's going to be a fast pace of events that take place, which is a blessing. This is a good thing because I sense errors you've been waiting on a change. So you're now preparing to get ready to receive this change or this blessing and it might come through in an unexpected way, an unexpected miracle or blessing in this circumstance where you've been waiting for something is going to happen. So get busy, follow your instincts and have fun. You or someone you meet is very self-assured, capable and enthusiastic and can do anything with a smile. And I feel this is your energy, that confidence coming out. There's so much going on right now that it may feel overwhelming to you. And yet it's wonderful to be so busy with the work that you love. Express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time, even if life feels challenging. If you're asked to travel and take a flight, then do so with confidence. That might be a very specific message for someone. Go within another card, trusting your gut instincts and your intuition. You are a very intuitive person and there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. There's no need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself. Beautiful. So we've got some lovely energies coming through here. Some important energies to know about for the week ahead. I hope you have a fantastic week, Aries. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.